Okay, now that you've hit that great slice serve into the body of your opponent, you're jamming them and you're gonna get a weak return if you can jam them with your slice serve. So how do you take advantage of the S1? This is what we're gonna go over today. I'm Sterling Strother and this is The Art of Winning. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the alert notification. Okay, welcome back. So to continue our serve series, and we're sticking with the slice serve because I believe that the slice serve is underpracticed and underrated. I think it's one of the most powerful serves that you can put into your serve arsenal to help you hold serve more. And so we're continuing this series today, but we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're not going outside with the slice serve and we're not coming inside with it. We're going right at the body of your opponent. So we're gonna make this ball slice into the body. Now, this is gonna be problematic for either a right or left-handed player. Let's say you are playing a right-handed player and you're on deuce court, okay? So if you can see that target there, it's about on the edge of the inside run serve and then it's to the cage serve, right? The body serve. So, so Pierce is gonna make this ball slice in, try to hit that target. And so if I'm the return player on the other, other side, watch out Pierce. If I'm, on the, if I'm the return player on the, the other side, I'm gonna see this slice serve come in. And I'm not gonna really know necessarily what it's gonna do unless I'm seeing a lot of slice serves in my practices, which a lot of junior players do not see a lot of slice serves coming to them in practice. They see a lot of kick serve, they see a lot of flat serve, but not very many slice serves. And that's why we're doing this series to help you be original in this, in this situation or bring back the slice, if you will. So I'm a right-handed player. I'm going to go into, my, I'm going to look, see that's coming to my back end, but then it's going to slice into me and I'm going to have to step out of the way like this and play this shot here. So I'm going to be jammed. That's going to automatically produce a shorter return. Now, if, if I see it again and I'm, I'm smart enough to pick up on it, then I could actually, what would be easier if I'm returning this is I would step to this side and then create space there and the racket slices or curves into my racket and I can play the forehand. That'd be the smarter thing to do if you're receiving these slice serves. But if you can get the ball as the server to come in from the outside left hip, right, of the right-handed returner, it's gonna, their, the first instinct is for the returner to get out of the way this way. Okay, and not to, not to come across it. Okay, so you can catch them off guard. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Pierce, you're going, to, you're going to hit this slice. I'm going to return it from the other side. Okay, you're, he's going to look for forehands. Remember in our last video, when you hit your slice serve, hunt for a forehand next because your probability of winning the point will rise. It will be higher than if you hit a backhand S1. Now, that's not to knock on backhands or to knock on the fact your backhand may be right now better than your forehand, but you need to work this forehand because you can really get an advantage in the probability of winning the point. Okay, so let's do this. So you're gonna slice in and then you're gonna look to, he's gonna look to hit his forehand and behind me. He's gonna reverse me after this slice, okay? Because the minute I hit this like this and I see it short as a returner, what am I gonna do as a return player? I'm gonna reset back toward the middle of the court and then you're gonna reverse behind me with your forehand. Okay, you got that? All right, let's do this. There you go. Now that's how you do it right there. Okay, so that's the slice body serve cage getting a, and looking for a forehand to reverse. Now the next one is the same serve slice into the body and then I'm going to send it into Pierce's backhand. He's going to move up and just basically 
hit that backhand reverse as well. So you're going to go backhand down the line, reverse, okay? And you're not going to hit this ball very hard, Pierce, right? Because you don't have to. You just need to get me reversing. Okay, this is a skill that you're going to have to practice. The backhand reverse there from C, we call that the Djokovic pattern. He's famous for hitting that two-handed backhand from inside of C and hitting it back into A and reversing a player. So either way, whether you hit forehands or backhands, looking for forehands mostly, you want to make sure you have a target for your S1. You want to make sure that you know you're reversing them or you're trying to run them or cage them again with your S1 so that you can pre-plan your first two shots. Remember, right when the point is about to begin, it's about to end. <clears throat> So thanks for joining us today. If you like our videos, please subscribe and hit the notification button and you'll be notified for our next video that's up in the series.